Recently the washing machine has gone crazy. Why they installed such a powerful motor inside? It can tear the washing machine apart. We've decided to make a powerful e-bike with this motor to find out its true power. This ride is very comfortable actually, and I feel it well when Stas presses gas. Yeah, this e-bike goes just perfectly. It's pity I can't wash my clothes with it now. The old bike we're gonna use is called Ukraine, and we're going to place the motor right on the trunk of the bike. <laughs> We will attach the belt of the watching machine to the rear wheel, to transmit its torque directly. To make it real, we have welded another sprocket to the other side of the wheel. And also added some holes for better attaching. There we go. This thing is so old. Looks like a seat for haters. The wheel doesn't see the frame. Well, it's time to do some framework. Something like this. There we go. Oh, that doesn't suit. What to do? That is just a quick fix, as you see. I just bend this tube and it fits the wheel now. Okay, it's time to weld it. Well, let's see how this white bike gonna go. The rear part looks futuristic, I can say. The trunk needs to be welded too. Next we need to attach this weird device that happened to be on our way somehow. Join our feast of life, tiny motor. Let's lubricate it. That's common noise that wiggles need lubrication and love. Now we can use some pedaling to go as well. The motor doesn't suit still, it must be there. We have to cut it right here, though the height is perfect now. Just take a look at this beauty! Now we can regulate the bell tension. Let's plug it in and see what we've got. This vehicle is really hard. It's gonna blow up or burn. Now it is sourced from a soft starter of a drill. Place on the steering and serves as throttle. The torque is regulated, gas is working. It must touch here. The spring is going to suspend the belt. Now we can try it. This bike is a beast now, so I think we don't need any brakes here. That will do. That is welding, it's okay, it's feng shui, Alex. I see that we've made a modification here. Yeah, that's an upgrade, a new level, okay? As you see, that's all good. But the rotational moment turned out to be very weak. Oh my, this one is really high. This doesn't work. You see, I press gas, but in vain. Let's try it this way. Oh, I feel some now. That's it, the bell started smoking now. Let me tighten it. That is too much. No, it's okay. Let's bring it back. 
Oh my gosh, why it's so problematic? It sleeps. Pressing harder and put it on the belt. And the motor is damn hot now. It was good evening, friends. So they're shooting? Yeah. Why is it much? Fix this one. Oh, now they are two fires. That was a shooting? I don't know who, but it was a good evening. Because it may blow up, right? Is that any good now? Hang on. It's very simple, the shaft bends. And the bell drops every time. I see the only way to solve this. We need to attach here one more ring. I mean just weld it to the one we have now. And put on a long belt. And this new ring will be much bigger than the shaft, in diameter. And we will get three times more rotational moment this way. And now an unforgettable path from stage 1 to stage 2 awaits us. And that will work well. That's gonna be the new rim. Mamma mia! This one almost suit in diameter. So now we need to get this rim out somehow. I have two options, first grinding machine, second welding. That's it. 30 seconds and the hedgehog is ready. You'd better give the sword to who needs that. You have destroyed it, you barbarians. They will say that. It almost suited. Let's add some clamps here. There we go. You've done pretty much of welding here, aren't you? Don't show it to people. I have no words, just swearings. I don't understand why. And what for is that? That's cruel. Let me count. One, two, three. Thirty-one patch here. Oh, come on, you! The rule goes like this. Two patches, throw the chamber away. I don't do such things, I swear. We have found a bell from the combine, 150, and it's used our project perfectly. Installing a powerful bell stretcher here, and spikes. I like the sound. Now this belt will not sleep. Now we are talking. Stage 2 is better than stage 1, I say. We have the power now, and the only thing left is to weld the pedals. And we can ride that. And we need to make this cord like brakes. It doesn't go straightly, so we need to fix that a little. Let's fix it. Let me see. The pedals are too narrow. They tie the frame, and that's why we need to make them wider. This thing is hard, so what are we gonna do with it? It's time to have some gas welding. We need to heat it, and that will make it softer. And this is gonna be easy now. Why, why, why? Yeah, there we are. What? It's crackling. There must be some water here. This burner is really costly, I should say. It's very expensive. It will go like this. It looks very village way. There you go. Hey, how do you like it? Like this or like that? And that's it. It will serve you forever now. Ages at least. There are no brakes, right? There are some brakes. If I pedal back? No, it isn't. Though pedaling forward has some difficulties. 
This all looks reliable. I hope it will not hit me. Oh, and that was dangerous. Because it is grounded here, right? Now it feels normal. Now it starts briskly. It's hard to handle. Good I didn't mess with wire. Well, it looks nice. Now I have to find an inverter and attach a battery here. And try it on the real road. I still think we should make the belt tighter. We can do this, yes. I feel good about this bike. The rotational moment and speed are just what we need. This is such a nice stud. Everything here is adjustable and tight. Well, friends, our bike is very peculiar and self-made. We've decided not to install this 2 kV inverter and a car battery here, just like we did always, like in the Grider machine bike. That's all in the past now. I have ordered these three boards. Do you know what it is? They are the most simple inverters. They turn 24 volts into 220 volts of high frequency. So we are making it give our constant current at once, connected to the motor for 220 volts. The only thing left is to connect the throttle. Dima has been tinkering for very long and made up a scheme for connecting it. Let him explain it all. Oh, come on you, Alex, I'm so shy. This throttle will do. The accelerator and all this is the same. There is the only thing I was tinkering about. Holy moly, guys! Look here! The throttle is connected to the whole effect sensor, which gives out the voltage from 1.5 volts to 5 volts. So it will give 5 volts full throttle. And the system works in this way. There is the feedback of voltage. That is why one of operational inputs gets the signal from throttle. And another input gets the signal from the transformer. And as a result, if we pull the throttle for 30%, we will make the entire voltage rise up to 30% power. So, by changing the voltage on this output, we will change the output voltage for the inverter, from 0 to 220 volts. This all is made on the prototyping board and the thermal glue. And there is a voltage rectifier here. These dials are actual swear words. they called HER. Yeah, HER. 308. How much amperes they can stand? 3. Well, there are so many eggheads all around, let's just go and ride it! Let's use a cheap Chinese tester first, just to check out the system. Let's set this 100 volts limitation, and this way we will see the voltage that motor is going to get. There is even a condenser here, it will remove the pulsations, though we don't even need this. Let's launch this hell machine. Let's take a little wire, it's gonna burn now. I mean, it's just joking. Oh, we need to charge the condensers first. Let's spin the key. It's 28 volts. It is charged, that's a surprise. Let's raise it a little. It's too much now. This tester is not supposed to measure such voltage. Let's switch the tester. It can't cope with such frequencies. There is an indicator. That is so cool. 28 volts, 29, 30, 40, 64, 80. Is that the limit? I guess so. 80 volts is its limit. It will go. Right, the bike will go. Let's test it. It will go. Right, the bike will go. Let's test it. It can't drop out, right? Well, it's a pleasant ride so far. Let's go faster. I don't feel any best of power now, but it goes pretty well. Let's touch it. Holy moly, it's as hot as a saucepan. It's too hot. The motor is cold and that's awesome. This motor seems really powerful. We'll have plenty of ways and time using it. It goes but overheats, guys. We're going to replace the winding with low voltage one. That's like it needs some oxygen, you know, guys? And it will go much more vigorously. Now we'll try to squeeze out its maximum power. You mean for 100 volts? There's protection. If the voltage is too much, the limiter shall work here. And that won't let everything burn. It goes more rapidly now. Now it can accelerate. I smell some burning wires. Really? We should see this. Ouch! I can't touch it. Yeah, that is too much, it is hitting hard. That is weird. I go 30 seconds only and that's it. If I continue going, it will burn. 
Alright, I have a very simple idea now. We will take this motor and give it the voltage from the battery directly. And we will see the result. That is an experiment, guys. Let's go! It's burned. Well, guys, we have attached here two bike batteries. They are connected consequently and we will get about 200 volts. As I said, now it's connected directly, so I can push a button on the battery and it will go. I can push it. No, thank you, I do it myself. Oh my! You know, it goes really fast. Now we are talking, it has a nuclear speed now. Just let me try it on the normal road. I can feel the thrust now. And now you can see it, of course. And this motor sounds just like the washing machine. All the spins, you know. Yeah, now we are talking. I'm just catching a buzz now. And I'm going up the hill now, by the way. Let's check out the motor. I was going fast. So what we have? It's absolutely awesome. It doesn't get heated at all. Though 100 volts is too little for this motor, it can deal with 220. It's a pity we didn't get its full power. Don't worry, we'll give it 300 volts soon. We're going to wake the demonic power of this tiny motor from the washing machine.